Hi, for this recording, I will show you how to show that the function fx, which is x cubed plus 2x for x less than 0, and cosine x minus 1 for x greater than equal to 0, is continuous at the point x equal to 0. Now, to do this, you must refresh your memory. What do you mean by a function continuous at a point? In this case, According to David Brennan's text, page 134, theorem 1, it says that a function f, which domain contains an interval containing the point C as an interior point, is continuous at point C if and only if the function f is both continuous on the left of the point C and continuous on the right of C. Now, in order to show that the function is continuous at the point C, you must show that it's continuous on the left of C and on the right of C. And what does it mean? Uh, according to the definition, the function whose domain contains the interval from the coast from C to C plus R, including C, for some positive number R. Now, if we say that the function is continuous on the right at C if for every sequence inside this interval and xn converts to c then f of xn converts to f of c this is what we mean by continuous on the right at c so you must have a interval containing c and this interval is on the right is open interval on the right of c there and the xn must be chosen any sequence converts to C inside this interval and f of xn converts to f of C. Similarly, we can also talk about a function is continuous on the left of C. If you have a half open interval containing C on the left on the left side of C and also for each sequence xn inside this half open interval, xn converts to c, then f of, XN, f of xn converts to f of c. So having known that, we, we may need also help. What are the examples of basic continuous functions we can make use of? The basic continuous function, for example, are polynomial, rational function, n root function, trigger functions such as sine and cosine function and exponential function. These are some of the basic continuous functions we can code. So in this case, to we'll answer the question, we take a sequence xn on the half open interval from minus r to 0. And what you do know about r here, r is a number greater than 0. And we let the xn converge to 0. Then f of xn equal to xn power 3 plus 2xn now because xn is less than 0. Right? xn is less than 0. Take note of that because of our interval. Therefore, f of xn is xn cubed plus 2xn. Now it converts to 0 cubed plus 2 times 0, which is 0 by the combination rule. And what is so special about this? Zero here because f of zero, according to definition, in this case f of zero is cosine zero minus one, which is also zero. So, have, so we now have f of xn converts to f of zero when xn converts to zero. So we conclude that the function is continuous on the left at zero. We do the similar procedure. Take the xn on the right side of an interval, half open interval. So the xn inside this half open interval and xn converts to zero. Now because xn greater than zero now, so therefore the definition of f of xn is equal to cosine xn minus one. Now cosine of xn will be conversion to cosine zero by basic continuous function. Alright? So, therefore, f of xn converts to 0 as well. But 0 is also f of 0. Right? Therefore, 
f of xn converts to f of 0 and so fx continues on the right at 0. Combining these two together, so by theorem 1, the function is continuous on the left at 0 and continuous on the right at 0, so the function is continuous at 0. This ends the recording.